welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. All right, so a long-awaited update on Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. I my channel has taken somewhat of a turn, East Asian, and it's because I'm getting a lot of people who purchase readings from me, and then they ask me to post it public, and I feel like I've really ignored the North American subscribers, but I'm. I was so busy with posting videos of K-pop and K-drama and C-drama that I couldn't keep up. So I have a free night tonight and I'm going to do an update on Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. It's been a long time since I did a reading on them. At one time it was like every month, every month, every month somebody wanted to do a reading, wanted me to do a reading. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, a little bit about myself, I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. I pick up energies from other people and I can pick up energies between people. If you are interested in purchasing a private reading, email me. I will have my email below and I will I will get back to you within 24 hours and my turnaround time for reading is five days. I have two uh, services that I offer. The first one is $57. And it is unlimited time and unlimited questions. You get tarot reading and energy reading. The other service is one question, five cards, $20, and an energy reading. A lot of people don't need a full reading, so they will just get one question. And you can buy one on your favorite celebrity. I get people who want me to do a reading on Justin and Selena, Justin and Haley. If you want a reading on them, buy one question. And then you will get that reading and then sometimes it, you know, it'll be posted public with your permission. If you want a reading on uh, yourself or your situation, email me and that reading would be private. Okay, so that if you're new to my channel, that is how it works. So I get a lot of people who just request and when I have the time, then I will post it if nobody purchases one. You know, I, I just do it out of the goodness of my heart to kind of showcase what I do. Okay. All right. So in those of you who are returning subscribers and view, viewers, I thank you for coming back and um, watching and supporting my channel. I truly appreciate it. And I'm so grateful for you. Okay. All right. So Justin and Haley, I feel like that's still the status quo. I don't feel like they get along with like a house on fire. I feel it has been a little bit better. I don't know if they've come to some sort of an understanding of what the relationship is like, because I get this. I don't get Haley trying so hard now to mother him because I, I got that she tried to she tries to save him or something it's like he acts like a spoiled brat which he does I mean I've seen some videos where he just lies down on a bench and he and she just keeps on walking she's like this she's a Sagittarius and he's a Pisces and Pisces are so emotional and when I think about him he's so emotional and she is so much of um she is a they're direct I'm a Sagittarius so whatever I want I'll tell you what I want there's no second guessing. And so I feel like sometimes he's a two-year-old and she has to control this two-year-old. But I feel like he's somewhat grown up as well in the last few years of being married to her. Because this is what going on year three. They're, like I didn't think they were going to make it to six months. I feel like every reading I've done on this couple has been wrong. And I don't like doing readings on them because it just doesn't ever seem to be right but I'm going to give it another crack. But I just get this more of a, he's growing up a little bit and understanding what it is like to be married and she's letting it go. Like she's not trying to save him like she used to. I feel like she's a little bit more secure in the relationship. He needs her because she is so opposite of him. She takes control and she's direct and he um, needs that sometimes. It's like, it's like, I get from her, she gets this, you know, this like, you know what, Justin, grow up. And him going, all right, you're right. I shouldn't behave like that. Or, you know, I, I get that, that sort of a vibe going on between them. Now, I don't know, someone was saying there's news going on. Let's see if they're going to have a baby. I'll just ask, I'll ask what the um, energies are between them. What's the energy between Justin and Haley? What is going on between Justin and Haley? 
So let's see what's going on between Justin and Haley. What are the messages regarding Justin and Haley? Okay, so with these cards so far, okay, what's the messages regarding Justin and Haley? Okay, so we have two fives. Fives are conflict in the tarot deck. The five of pentacles talks about um, financial loss, it's worry, it's isolation. This is about being left out in the cold. I feel that there's not a lot of emotional stuff going on between the two of them, okay? So this is just coldness, emotional cold, all right? Isolation, this is about um, worry, okay? So again, I don't feel like it's the best relationship in the world. Then we have the Five of Cups. It's loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. It's like they're always... I don't want to say they're always fighting, but they're like always fighting, you know, and there, but there's hope. Okay. So you've got two cups that are still standing upright. So they always feel like there's hope in this relationship, but it, this it's turbulent. Okay. And then we have the king of cups. I feel like he's the one here. He, here's the king of cups, the Pisces man, the husband. Okay. So he's the one who's kind of being the emotional one here between the two of them. Okay, I get the spoiled brat sometimes. Now, let's see what the future messages are regarding Haley and Justin. Future messages regarding Haley and Justin. Future messages regarding Haley and Justin. All right, well, we have here the magician, which means they have all the tools to make this work. So here we have... Um, you can see that there's the wand, the cup, sorry, the sword, the cup, the wand, the pentacle. They have the tools and they have unlimited power to turn their visions into reality. I feel it's more her. She has, she's kind of like the wiser one of the two of them. Here's the sun card, which talks about a joyous outcome. They still have hope. They still have, um, I feel the relationship will keep going on. Okay. And then we have the nine of pentacles which talks about being um happy with yourself content the nine of pentacles also speaks about the nine of pentacles is about fulfillment comfort maybe all the money around them is making them happy you know you know how they say money can make you happy when you know like kind of you throw your bunch of money against the wall, it gets rid of all your financial problems. So there could, this fulfillment could be coming from the money, prosperity, focus. Maybe they're focusing on money. Maybe they're focusing on work, that sort of a thing, okay? I mean, it could be that they're just putting more effort into their work than home. But they have the power to keep this going if they want, all right? That's the sunshine there. That's the sun card. It's the luckiest deck in the card in the deck. Now, I'm going to see what messages are regarding children, because I think somebody wanted to know about children for them. All right, what are the messages regarding children? I still don't think they're ready for it, and I still don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. What are the messages regarding children? Are they going to have children soon? What are the messages regarding children? What are the messages regarding children? Okay, so what are the messages regarding children? We have the judgment card. There's not one child that comes up in this deck 
uh, in the three cards that that fell out. Judgment is about clarity. It's a final decision. It's a wake up call. It's your purpose. I feel like they're trying to get more clarity on this relationship. Now we do have the lovers. That's what they are. They're the lovers. They're the husband. They're the wife. But this can also speak about making choices. So they're, it's like they're trying to get some clarity on the relationship. You know, before that, they make that choice to either carry on alone or as a couple. And then we have the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords speaks about um, ambition, decision, order, justice. I think they're still ambitious. Okay, this stands for mind power, decisions, and justice. His arrival in a, in a reading means that intense work phase is almost done. So they still could be trying to figure their life out before they add a child into the mix. Okay, all right, because this, this is about trying to figure things out, trying to get some clarity on this situation. All right, and this is about, it can be about choices. Okay, the lovers is about um, partnership, love. It's a balance of two people together, but it also represents... Um, Decision to commit to a relationship or new venture with an open heart or to sacrifice an opportunity that cannot grow. Consider the long-term impact of your choice rather than short-term gain. Okay. It's also a choice between two lovers, but I really for, feel that they're just trying to get their relationship more stable and balanced before they move on to having children. Okay. All right. There you go. That is the reading on Justin and Haley. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it made sense to you. And again, if anybody's looking to purchase a private reading, please email me and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.